Okay, let's take a quick look at the YouTube channel template and I'll let you see kind of what's contained in it. The first thing is there's this page. It's just the instructions here and some information about um, my company and then what you have with the template, which is just the instruction page. The actual template layout page it shows you the various areas of the YouTube channel layout. And then I actually have my channel layout sitting here so you can take a look at that and see how I've used it. And I keep all my information in the safe area. I don't really worry about these outer areas. It's just a real quick design so um, you can get something up and running very quickly. And we'll take a quick look at what you do. So basically what I explain that you need to do is you have this template. I create a brand new page and so you just right mouse click on that page, choose insert duplicate page. And it's going to come down here and make exactly that, a duplicate page. Here it is. And then if you want to, and this is just a quick easy way to create material inside the safe area, I actually will do something like this. I'll actually create a blank page. I'll go up here and I'll copy this. Paste it here, and I know that this is the right size for a safe area. So now I could do something like, um, before if we went down here, I had this image, and it's actually I've merged it with something else, but we could take any image. But first, we'll just go here and show you with some text. So I could take some text, and I could say, your name, and I could change the font if I wanted to to man eh, for Donna it's well known change the size of it maybe I'll make it right aligned like I did on my page so it's black text in this case you can make it whatever color you can actually do other text effects uh, very simple effects like you could have a shadow if you wanted you could have your name maybe you have I'll just do a control C, control V, create a new little text area, make it a bit smaller, like 36, and I might say something about your channel or your channel's name, so videos about cooking and Hair. I don't know. Whatever you want to make it. We italicize it. So in any case, once I have that set up and I've done it in this area, I know that everything I put in here, it could be graphics, could be anything, um, if it's inside this area, that's within the safe area. So then I could just take this and if I wanted the background and I played around with that, um, what I would do is I would typically get rid of the lines. Let's say I was going to keep the same background, but no line color. And then highlight everything. Maybe I'll even group it together. Copy it. I just did Control C. You could right mouse click, do the same thing, choose copy, paste. And now I'm just going to position it right into that area. So now I know that I have the information right here and whatever I put on the outside will fit in the outside of the area and I can of course to check things I can either bring this forward you highlight the area and I say bring to front and then if I want to work with the information I could say send to back and so I could then create an outer area, and this gets a little bit, um, you know, sometimes people get confused on this. I just want you to see how simple it can be. I'm going to actually create a rectangle that goes all the way outside the entire area. By default, it has the same color, so let's change some things on that. Let's do format shape. Once again, I don't need the outline. I'll choose purple. Alright, so now it's purple. 
I'll send it to the back. And now we can see our safe area once again is in the front. And at this point, let's just say I wanted to keep it like this. I actually would extend this out to either side so that it's the same color end to end. That's what I've done on mine. But this is going to show up and it's safe. This outer area won't show up except on tablet devices here and large desktop computers. So that's fine. We're okay with that. So then once we have it completed, I'm just going to go in and delete these guides. I can delete the text, which I've made a grouped bit of text. And now we're ready. All we have to do is save this and upload it to YouTube, in which case we'll do a file, save as. I'm going to save it under social images. I'll choose PNG, 96 DPI. First YouTube channel art whatever name we want to give it and save it. So now if I look at that, let me bring up a bring up that that folder. Actually it shows up here. So first YouTube channel art. We'll do a preview of it. It's coming up on my other screen so I just want to bring it into here. Here's a preview of that PNG file. When you upload that into YouTube, so I'll show you my current image. This is kind of what I have currently minus the grid lines. And so what you see when you see my channel is this. So that's how you use the template. Hopefully you find this helpful. Um, let me know and if you have any questions feel free to email me. The information is right there in the first page of the template itself. And thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. Um, if you get the chance, let people know about it and subscribe. Thanks.